Welcome to Nerd Alert. Today we have a special uh, guest host with some special guest stories. You may know him if you watch The Young Turks, which you should. Uh, Mr. Dave Kohler. Hi. Hi. So you are a science enthusiast, a co-founder of The Young Turks, a former geologist. I love Bolivia tennis, <laughs> and I'm in even nerdy a little bit. You, <laughs> yeah. You had a book called Nerds 2.0, which I have borrowed. Right, there was a book on the history of the internet, and everyone gets excited about it because they think, oh wow, it's about www.this.com, but no, it's actually about they plug this cable into that server, and that server into this cable, and when that's how they, eh, eh, eh. Less interesting? Although I loved it. Or less, less sexy, rather? Yeah, less, it's not what you expect. No. It's a little less sexy, yeah. Eh, I think that's the, the core of what nerdiness is. Right. And. Speaking of something that's not sexy, today we're going to talk about bugs. Yeah, insects. Bugs. It's um, a change of direction for Nerd Alert. Do you want to introduce it? Do you I, want me to I, do it? I'd like you to do it. Okay, I'm going to cowboy this. So our first story today on bugs is cockroaches that have evolved to no longer like the taste of glucose, which is a sugar found in plants. Normally this wouldn't matter to us, but glucose is something commonly found in bait traps. For cockroaches, exactly. Yeah, so they, they've evolved to the point that they don't want to, well, they, according to someone, um, one of the researchers, an entomologist who, who published a study in Science, the journal, they, they were so revolted by it that they jumped away like they were being mm -hmm. electrocuted. Now, pest control people always knew that cockroaches get used to the poison, they're used to that, but s apparently in the early 90s they would start putting the poison with this sugary bait mm -hmm. and the cockroaches wouldn't go for the bait anymore and they couldn't figure it out, so these researchers went and, and did it. The cockroaches, they don't have tongues, but they have little hairs with nerve cells on the end of them. Yeah, so they actually, they can taste mm -hmm. all over their body, right, but the ones they tested were the ones close to their mouths in this, in this research study, right. which is directly what they feel with before they eat more so than the feet, at least. Yeah. So they have, in particular, two kinds of nerve cells. One that responds when something bitter attaches to it, they feel bitterness, and when mm -hmm. they attach these nerve cells to something sweet, they feel sweetness. But these baits weren't working. The sweet baits weren't working. The cockroaches were revolting against them. <laughs> so the researchers figured out, it's uh, amazingly, in a short period of time, the cockroaches evolved so that when they touched sweet stuff with their sweet nerve, they still got a bitter taste in their mouth and then they didn't eat the stuff and then they survived because the, they avoided the poison. Um, the, from Kobe Shaw, who was an entomologist who co-authored this study, uh, Dr. Shaw said that originally, uh, way long ago, cockroaches had also um, had a revulsion to glucose to keep them away from plants that ha produced glucose and had something poisonous to them in those cells mm -hmm. too. And then when they started cohabitating with humans, you know, it actually became more advantageous for them to like glucose, because glucose is in sugar. Sugar right. is a great way for them to get lots of energy really quickly. And then what, what have we done again? Have we de-evolved them? No, I think we've helped them <laughs> evolve them, make them stronger creatures. It's just like cyclical, but you would say, or? Oh, it's a game. I don't know, yeah. it's winding like this. We go here, they go there, we follow, they, they're always ahead of us, or just behind us, or zigzagging out of our way. Uh, there's a division of whether this is a good news or bad news. Of course, the pest control specialists think it's bad. Oh no, all of our sweet baits don't work. The scientists think it's great news because now that you understand how the cockroach works better, maybe you can develop better ways to kill it or get it out of your kitchen. But what if it just evolves to, to adapt to, adapt those to ways. that? Yeah, I mean, well, these then, things we'll, are gonna then we'll keep <laughs> learning more and more about our enemy, the cockroach. I think there's a human angle to this store, uh, application, even though it's a little more psychological. A lot of people have trouble getting over addictions, cigarettes, sweets, Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. One of my theories that I've always liked, I don't have that problem, so I never had the chance to use it. You don't it. like sweets? No, I don't get addicted to the things. You, I like sweets, you and I but don't I can stop, them, stop whenever I want. But if you can't, if you can't stop drinking soda, you can't stop smoking cigarettes, what you should do is teach yourself to be revolted by a can of Coke or a cigarette or a piece of How do of you chocolate. teach yourself to, to by be making it disgusting? By making it disgusting. You put it... You Actually, no, I did another Nerd Alert story on this. And the way to make you se yourself hate a food is if it makes you sick. Yeah. And then in the future you'll remember, you'll remember that, that made me sick. Right. I don't want any more. So, so what, let it get moldy? That's a little vain, because then you might actually That's get horrible. sick. That's horrible. Yeah. No, one thing you can do is just let it sit in your mouth and not 
linger there so you enjoy it. But I mean forever. You take the drag of that cigarette and you just hold it in your mouth until it gets freaking gross in there. You'll soon be revolted by the thought. I've never cigarette. smoked a cigarette, okay. but you have you tried have that? Does no. it work? I, I haven't had to try it. I can't test it on myself. Take a sip of Coca-Cola and don't swallow. Just hold it in there and just... But I want my teeth to still exist, Dave. Yeah, well, this in the long run will help you because you do one can, of, two couple cans like that, and then you'll never drink Coke again because you'll be revolted by it. Well, that's interesting. Or put, pour some vinegar into your Coca-Cola. Just right. poison yourself <laughs> over and over and over until you hate it. But, you know, we could learn from the cockroaches and apply it to ourselves. And then we can live forever, right? No. No. No, but we can live healthier. <laughs> Well, one way that scientists, or not, not even scientists, uh, people in the industry for poison traps have worked around this was to just use uh, other kinds of sugars that roaches like, like fructose, which comes from fruit, or maltose, which comes from beer. So mm -hmm. that's a pretty easy solution to that, at least, for, for the now. short, short right. term, until they get over that, maybe we should be learning from them. Sure. Yeah. Short-term solution. It never hurts. <laughs>